Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Straight Fire Picks. Best bets for NBA on Thursday, December 23rd, 2021. We got NBA player props and spreads here today for you. My name is Steve and we're going to have four picks today that I think are great value bets for the Thursday NBA slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 1,100 subscribers by the end of the week, guys, and I can't do it without your help. Appreciate all of your support on the channel. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page. I'll have a link down in the comment section and in the description where you can check that out. It's a great place to connect with our community. Be sure to also put your favorite pick down below for today. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put your uh, put a star or an asterisk next to your pick and we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now results from the previous episode. So far, our comment cappers, we had got to get the bag. Calling the Darius Garland under 11.5 rebounds and assists. Cash that there fairly easily. So great call there from Gotta Get the Bag. As far as our stream results, we went 3-1. and one. Really solid day at the office for us. Could have easily gone 4-0. Oh. Chris Middleton let me down. Two PRA short of cash in his line there, and he got pulled with like seven minutes to go. But what can he do? But anyway, we cashed on the Darius Garland under 7.5 assists. He finished with 6, so pretty easy cash there. Cashed on the John Collins over 20 and a half points. He finished with 28 there versus the Magic. And we also cashed on the Los Angeles Clippers minus five and a half spread there versus the Kings. They ended up winning by 16. So three pretty easy cashes there. And then Chris Middleton had 32 PRAs there in the fourth quarter. We needed 33 and a half. And uh, it was a 14 point game with about six and a half minutes to go. And Boonholzer took him off the floor. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, but anyway, you know, you can't win them all. You know, you get these beats sometimes, but I know we were on the right side. We definitely should hit that. So, uh, like I said, three and one still a great episode. We're going to get after it today though, guys, we're going to get this four and oh, so let's get right into our picks at number one. We are going with Joel Embiid under 28 and a half points here for the Philadelphia 76ers at minus 108 odds. So I'm beating the 76ers here. We're taking on the Atlanta Hawks who just played last night. I had a chance to watch them play. Uh, he's likely to be matched up tonight with Gorju Jang and or John Collins. Uh, probably a lot of Gorju Jang, though. And Embiid is 6-2 in his career to this under versus Gorju Jang. So I like seeing that. Embiid overall 5-0 and in his last five games versus the Atlanta Hawks to this under. So we love that. Embiid recently here also 6 out of 10 in his last 10 games to the under as well, including 4 out of 4. To, in his last four games to the under at home. So he scores significantly less here at home, averaging just 22.9 points per game at home versus 26.9 points per game on the road. So I like that. And the thing I also really love here is I think we get some really good blowout equity here for the 76ers. I can see the 76ers really running away with this game. Um, and if that happens, obviously Embiid won't be playing big minutes. I think, um, you know, the role players such as, uh, you know, Seth Curry, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, I think they'll have a chance to score a lot of points in this game here versus the banged up Hawks. And um, I just don't think they're going to need Embiid to score that much. And even if they go to him, I think we're solid enough there in the paint defensively for the Hawks with John Collins and Jang. They rebound pretty solid. They don't give them too many second uh, chances. You know, Magic with just 40 rebounds last night in this matchup. So... I think, uh, I honestly think they can hold a beat here under. And a beat to me, even though he's had a couple of high scoring games here lately, he still hasn't looked quite right to me. And he might be starting to get healthy now, but here recently, he still hasn't looked quite healthy. Although his stat line, you know, you'd have to disagree with some of his stat lines. He did put up a couple of good games here recently where he scored up over 30. But, um,. I think in this spot, I you know, with the way things are in the NBA now, I don't think, you know, Doc Rivers is going to want to wear Joel and be at, beat out too much anyway. Um, and I see the 76ers here getting off to a good start, getting off to a lead. And I think we'll be able to cash this under. You know, my prediction here for Embiid, about 22 to 24 points here for Embiid is what I got him at. So love it there for a number one pick. Joel Embiid under 28.5 points here for the 76ers at minus 108 odds. Okay, and at number two, we are going with Michael Bridges over 11.5 points here for the Phoenix Suns at minus 116 odds. So Bridges is 4-2 and two to this line in his last six games with a hook. So that means in one of those losses, he finished with 11 points. So I honestly like seeing that, giving us consistent production there. 
He's three out of five in his last five home games with a hook as well. Uh, which, you know, those things don't really get me going too much. I mean, that's over 60%, which I love. But I really love the matchup as well to go with this. So, taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder here, who allow the third most points to small forwards. So we like seeing that. And in his career versus the Thunder, Bridges has cashed in three out of four in his last four games versus the Thunder. So, I like seeing that as well. Um, the one loss he had, you know, of those four games, of his last four there, he was 3 out of 13 from the field with 7 points. So, you know, I don't put him on going 3 of 13 from the field. That's awful, but he still got up 13 shots. So, um, I think he'll have a great chance to cash here. Thunder have actually been playing pretty well overall as a team. They've won 3 in a row, uh, coming off a win last night. So, I think the Thunder could keep this game competitive enough. And they have more to worry about with Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, and Bridges is kind of an afterthought, which is why I think he could have a really good game here as well. Um, the Thunder are going to have to worry about Devin Booker and all the all the other rest of the talent that the Suns have. But I think the Thunder could be competitive here and keep it close enough. They played really well lately. Uh, like I said, you know, playing well last night there against Denver in a blowout win there over the night. So. You know, I think, uh, you know, this is a great spot here for Bridges. Believe it or not, here's an interesting stat here on Bridges as well. His highest scoring day of the week this season comes on Thursdays at 15 points per game. So he's played three games on Thursdays, um, and he's averaging 15 points per game on Thursdays. Is that significant? Not really. But it's just an interesting stat to look at. The home thing is significant. You know, role players have a tendency to play better at home. That's historically true in the NBA. Uh, they get amped up by the home crowd. So I do like that. I like all the factors of having the home crowd. I love the matchup. And I love his consistency here lately, hitting it over 60%. So love it there for number two pick. Michael Bridges over 11.5 points here for the Phoenix Suns at minus 116 odds. Okay, and at number three, we are going with the other Bridges guy in the NBA. We're going Miles Bridges, over 27.5 PRAs here for the Charlotte Hornets at minus 115 odds. So Bridges is 9-1 to this line in his last 10 games. Um, he's cashed in 9 out of 10, so that's obviously very good. He's averaging 32.1 PRAs in December, so we love that. He, he also averages 1.8 more points on the road as well. Charlotte Hornets here taking on the Nuggets in Denver. Um, so, honestly, this is also a great matchup for him as well. The Nuggets allow the third most points and rebounds to power forwards. Uh, so, Miles Bridges here drawing a great matchup. He's playing really well here lately. Um, the only thing you got to worry about sometimes in Denver is that mile high altitude. You know, it doesn't get to you. But, you know, in, in this spot, you know, I think Bridges is going to have a chance here, you know, with the Nuggets being on a back-to-back. -back, I really like that as well. Um, he's shooting 52% from the field here in December as well. He's just playing really well. Miles Bridges has been really efficient here in the month of December. Uh, obviously, you know, a bunch of those games were without LaMelo Ball, so of course his PRA is going to go up during that time. But even with Ball back, he's been cashing as well, uh, which I love to see that. And he's still efficient. I think that's the point that I really love here with uh, – Miles Bridges. The fact he's shooting 52% from the field means he's going to be getting a lot of looks. Uh, the team's going to want that guy to shoot the ball, right? So, I love it there, guys. Nuggets on a back-to-back. -back. Great matchup here for Bridges. Uh, he averages more points on the road. So, love it there for number three pick. Miles Bridges over 27.5 PRAs here for the Hornets at minus 115 odds. Okay, and finally, at number four, we are going with the San Antonio Spurs, plus one and a half spread here versus the Los Angeles Lakers at minus 110 odds. So the Spurs here are coming in 17 and 13 against the spread on the season and nine and six on the road against the spread. So that's very solid there for the San Antonio Spurs. Los Angeles Lakers here are coming in 12 and 20 against the spread and six and 12 at home against the spread. That is terrible. Uh, they've been a terrible home team all year. And I don't expect that to improve here. Um, you know, they're drawing a matchup here with a pretty healthy and COVID-free Spurs team. You know, we got all our starters here available for the Spurs. And um, honestly, I really love the way the Spurs have been playing in a lot of ways lately. And they, they have these Jekyll and Hyde performances where, man, they beat teams like the Warriors, they beat the Jazz, they beat the Clippers, and they'll lose to, you know, a team and get blown out by the Hornets. So... You know, sometimes you just never know what you're going to get. But in this particular case, on the road, I prefer the Spurs on the road, honestly. Um, I think they perform better. They hang in there tight. Um, and in this game, you know, Lakers here coming in without Anthony Davis. A few other players are missing due to COVID protocols. 
And the Spurs just aren't dealing with that. Spurs much healthy and COVID-free. Spurs coming off a 24-point win there over the Clippers. Um, there were the other night, so obviously we love seeing that. Um, you know, they beat the Jazz here recently on the road as well, so they've played really well on the road. Uh, on the season, Spurs are 10th in offensive efficiency. Lakers are 26, so, you know, this... You know, Spurs unit led by DeJounte Murray there at point has played very well offensively. Now, defensively, the Spurs have been okay. You know, Lakers are better defensively. Uh, Lakers 8th in defensive efficiency. Spurs 18th on the season. So, Lakers still do play a solid defense overall. But their offense is just in shambles. They can't figure out who they want to shoot the ball there in Los Angeles. And they got all that star talent. So, a lot of times it just don't make no sense. But... Um, it is what it is. You know, right now it's still playing out that way. Lakers just got blown out the other night in uh, Phoenix, so uh, Lakers still struggling, and you know, no Anthony Davis doesn't help them obviously here. Um, and you know, like I said earlier, you know, with Dejounte Murray leaving the Spurs team, I love the the pieces around him that are starting to play better as well. You know, Derek White starting to play really good. You got Poitel there inside. And just overall, I like this. I'm starting to really like the Spurs team. I am, uh, including their bench as well. Uh, Greg Popovich, obviously a great coach. Um, and I think, you know, like I said, in this spot, I just love the Spurs here on the road. Strength the schedule on the season. 15th for the Spurs, 30th. That lasts for the Lakers. And the Lakers just still, you know, are just 16 and 16 on the season. So, um, you know, obviously, I. I love betting against Lakers in this matchup, guys. So take it there for your number four pick. San Antonio Spurs plus one and a half spread here versus the Los Angeles Lakers at minus 110 odds. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 1,100 subscribers here by the end of the week, and I can't do it without your help. Uh, good luck today, guys, on your bets. Be careful here with COVID and stuff. Things can change quickly. Uh, in this season in the NBA, um, saw a couple things that honestly happened yesterday. Um, even with the Clippers there that I had, you know, Reggie Jackson ruled out late before the game. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, I still didn't mind the Clippers performed very well there. But it, you just got to be careful here. You know, just keep in mind of your COVID updates. You know, new things can circulate throughout the day, but we're going with what we got as of right now. So Spurs are really healthy right now, for instance. But that could change before game time. So, just keep all these things in mind. Good luck on your bets today. Uh, let's cash out today. Let's get this 4-0. I wish you all the best of luck. Have a great rest of your day. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, guys. Happy New Year. Uh, let's roll in uh, Let's roll in the Christmas season with a 4-0 sweep. Let's do it, guys. All right, have a great rest of your day. We will catch you next time. Peace out.